I could really use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly. I'm still fly. I know. I'm still fly. I'm still fly. Let's go. It could all be worse. I could be a hater like you. Alrighty, the boy and I just got back from park run. I don't know what I ran, man, but I felt hard, eh? Like, he weighs about 17 kilos plus the pram. And now we're gonna have some breakfast. Gonna cook up a storm out the back. Oh, I just might have to eat this boy first. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Can't nobody take me here and now. It's my time to run it out. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time to run. Cause you proved to me yeah. That rising to the top was my destiny yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me But I'm still fly I'm still fly, I know I'm still fly I'm still fly, let's go It could all be worse I could be a hater like you It could oh. all be worse to make the man But that poison's gonna kill you Just now, say it with your chest now. Yeah, hey, how you going? Welcome back to the green and gold life. Hot diggity dang, autumn has fair income set in, eh? We've had a bit of woolly weather over the last few days, and the, and the yard's completely littered in leaves and debris and all sorts of stuff. So I need to get it tidied up, man. I've got a mate coming around for a barbecue in about uh, half an hour or so. So hopefully I can get it all squeezed in before he gets here. <laughs> Lawn's also looking a little bit hungry, eh? There's a few sections where it goes through that, that lime green spot. There's still a few sections that have got plenty of, plenty of growth and are looking good, but yeah, there are a few sections that seem like they're a bit hungry, so. Probably gonna get the fert down after they leave, that way the kids can still play on the lawn and all that sort of stuff. Righto, let's jump down and have a look, eh? <laughs> all right, here we are. So, uh, the lawn's looking not too bad, eh? It looks a little bit hungry. We've got this side over here, to my right, Stage right, stage left, ah, one of the two. Over this side here, she's, um, it's looking a little bit hungry, hey? It's a little bit lime green, and it's not quite growing as vigorously as over here. So this side here, you know, we've got a nice tall leaf, it's nice dark and green, and it's just looking nommy nom nom. So, um, yeah, that's just telling me there's a little bit of a nitrogen deficiency uh, throughout the lawn, so we're gonna hopefully rectify that a little bit later on this arvo. Right, let's move down the hill a little bit, eh? Alrighty, <laughs> look at this little bad boy, this little scallywag, this little rascal here popping up. So, uh, mushrooms, you know, they can be a little bit unsightly uh, in your lawn, but uh, it's really just uh, decomposing organic matter, and uh, it's a sign of good healthy soil, so, um, you know, is it an issue? No. Are they unsightly? Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, you hit them with the lawnmower man and they're gone. So uh, I wouldn't stress about it too much, eh? Uh, especially with the deck the way it's looking at the moment with all this leaf litter, you'd barely know it's there. But yeah, it's just another, just another thing you've got to deal with, I suppose. And we also have popping up plenty of these. I don't know where you can see that, seed head. So all of this, this white, this little white cast you've got across the lawn, in Kaiku, that seed head. So um, again, nothing to be concerned about. It's just a sign of stress. So, um, you know, it's starting to get a bit cooler here at the moment, so the lawn's not quite getting what it wants in terms of, uh, in terms of heat and light hours. Not only that, it's, it's a little bit hungry as well. So, um, yeah, in combination with possibly uh, blunt mower blades, you know, you could almost hypothesize that the, the lawn's a bit stressed, so it's sending up some seed heads. All right, I need to get this mow on before my mate gets here. Let's do this. Ha 
alrighty. Generally with a little bit of leaf litter that's on the lawn, I don't mind getting out the old two-stroke broom and just <whistles> tidying up the lawn. But it's a fair bit out there today, so uh, the vacuum's gonna get a run today. I'm just gonna quickly nip a little bit off the top, suck up some of these leaves, and then uh, might try and break out the Scotty B too, eh? Let's do it. Before I get moving with this bad boy, I want to bump up the height of cut. So generally I like to run 15 mil throughout the year, but then uh, when we get to autumn time, we bring the height of cut up. So um, that's going to do two things for us. It's going to help create a weed mat across the yard. That's not going to stop weeds, but it's just going to make them harder for them to germinate. Second of all, it's going to create more area for photosynthesis on the leaf. So with these reduced daylight hours and, uh, and warmth, the, the plant's gonna struggle a little bit. So by bringing the hider cut up, we just give it a little extra helping hand. So I hear you ask, how much do we pick it up by? So I like to add 50%. So 50% uh, of 15 mil is 7.5. So add 7.5 to 15 mil gives you about 22 mil. So I'm gonna shoot for there. So that should really help give the plant uh, a better run into, uh, into winter time to help store energy and then uh, help break dormancy. Alrighty, so it's time for me to go out now for my final granular application for the year. So this fertilizer I'm putting out here is um, the Brilliance by Bailey's because it's a zero phosphate fertilizer. So I'm putting this out uh, for one reason. That's to try and control the Poa annua. So I haven't got my pre-emerging out this year and uh, I am absolutely plagued with winter grass here. Now, this methodology or this strategy isn't really recommended because what you're actually doing is, is you're also starving your turf of phosphate as well. So, is it a really good strategy? Probably not. Um, you know, it's, it's going to assist in trying to, you know, stop the winter grass from growing because winter grass has really poor root system. And if we starve it of phosphorus, what we're doing is, is just inhibiting its growth and it's not got enough nutrients to really get going. So, um, You'll notice it, it, it might help with the winter grass, but it's not going to stop it by any means. So this is just a strategy to help reduce the impact of winter grass on your lawn. But essentially what you are doing is you are starving the soil of, uh, of phosphorus and therefore your plants as well. All right, let's get this out, eh?
All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you guys do me a wicked mad favor and take it easy, I'll chat you wrong.